Well, for more on the UK's fuel crisis, I'm joined by Kent Moores. Kent is executive chairman of the Global Strategic Investment Institute. Welcome back to the show. Thank you so much. So for people who aren't familiar with this story, what caused these petrol shortages at the pumps in the first place? Well, this has been primarily a logistical and distribution problem. It has never really been a supply problem. There's adequate oil products uh, coming out of the seven refineries uh, in the UK. The problem has been getting it to the pumps. And this is essentially a lack of lorry drivers. There's just no other way to put it. So then how foreseeable or avoidable was this? It was very foreseeable. In fact, there were indications several months earlier that a number of products would uh, have some difficulties getting to the, to the retail areas because there were insufficient uh, lorries uh, to transport them. Now, I don't think the government believed this would have been a problem with oil. Uh, for the simple reason that those who transport the oil require special licenses, they have to be registered, they have to go through training, and there was apparently enough of those to go around. Unfortunately, when the panic buying started, that wasn't the case. And also we're hearing accusations of Brexit playing a role in the shortage. How much of a role does Brexit play versus other factors? Well, at the moment, the, the Brexit factor is indirect. What occurred once Brexit was finalized in the UK uh, was that a number of, e of EU residents decided to leave the country. And that was a drain off on the very lorry drivers they're now relying upon. Now, some of these drivers in the past have really not favored working in the UK. They, they don't like the structure. They don't like the pay scale. They don't even like the facilities. And so that had always been a problem, but it was manageable. Uh, in the present situation, however, the government has attempted to, to entice uh, drivers uh, to come into to the uh, economy by offering uh, increased payment and also by operate, uh, offering some other benefits. But at the moment, that hasn't been, had a major impact. There hasn't been a large number uh, of drivers quickly coming back. Now, data is showing that the shortage is starting to ease compared to the beginning of the week. So what's actually changed in terms of the conditions that are making that possible? And will that stop the panic buying? I, I think it will put a plateau on the, plan, uh, on the panic buying for now. But I think that's quite likely to, to kick in in the future. We also have some other major problems here in supply and distribution in other products. Uh, there was a report coming out uh, yesterday or the day before that retail outlets now have difficulty in the UK stocking pharmaceuticals and the prices of those drugs are going up. This is another indication not of the petrol problem, but certainly of the problem having uh, adequate uh, lorries to be able to bring the supply to market. And we did see that at one point, Prime Minister Boris Johnson did suggest temporary visas for foreign workers to ease that bottleneck, but then later walked that back over immigration concerns. As you mentioned, a lot of drivers didn't want to be there for this three-month period. How do they fix this truck driver shortage longer term to avoid some of these other shortages you mentioned? I'm afraid that unless the government begins uh, introducing some sort of rationing plan, now, this is not a rationing plan because the oil supplies are limited. It is a rationing plan because they simply can't get the supply to enough uh, petrol stations. I think that may only be the short-term problem. The, the other difficulty with the government's new um, effort to bring more uh, drivers in, they put the number of these temporary visas at such a low level that it's not going to make much of a difference anyway. So then looking ahead then, what can the government do at this point other than having, as we mentioned, having the army come in to drive some of these trucks? Oh, my heavens. Um, the, uh, the army doesn't want to do it, but of course they will if they're asked. The, uh, the problem actually is intensifying in other areas. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, we had the head of the UK uh, Food and Drink Association saying that unless this situation was rectified in the poultry area, we may have to, they may have to simply cancel Christmas. Now, that may have been dramatic, uh, but it was a point taken in an area that people haven't quite looked at yet. And it's certainly a phrase nobody wants to hear. Thank you so much. Kent Moore's there, Executive Chairman at Global Strategic Investment Institute.